No, I'm not walking on the walls. This garden is actually done on the vertical. Let me show you how they did it. You know, I love to go to places and find new ideas. I'm here at the Garfield Park Conservancy. Lots of people here today enjoying this beautiful place in Chicago. But you know, what's so interesting about this, and I want to share this with you because it's a great problem solver, is that this is a wall of plants. Why a wall of plants? Well, in this case, they're hiding a building that is sort of a visual, well, this is what I would call a retina irritant or an eyesore. You see, what you have here is a beautiful representation of Monet's garden at Giverny. But what I want to do is not only give you a glimpse of this garden, but show you how they've cleverly hidden this building. It doesn't really fit the design, and so they've done this wall of plants that you can actually do in your own home. Now let's talk about the mechanics and the fundamentals of it before we get to the plants, which that's the part I really love. If you look closely, you'll see there's a series of these units, and each unit has 16 pockets for planting. These extend about 10 inches out from the wall, and there's a drip line that runs across the top here, and here, and here, and here. And there's a slow drip of water and fertilizer that feed these plants. They're packed in with a potting soil, one blended for container gardening, and then there's a filter fabric or landscape fabric that helps hold those into place. This is a south-facing wall, so they get plenty of light which will dictate the type of plants that you choose to plant here. It's a living wall, and what they've used here to enliven this wall are these beautiful pink dragon wing begonias, and this carex called silver curls, and then over here is this lovely gara with its ethereal pink blooms, and then even vegetables growing here. And one of the benefits of having a living wall like this against a building it helps cuts down on the amount of radiation and heat buildup in the building. If you do this, you're going to want to make sure that you mount this wall on something that's very sturdy and solid, something that can take moisture. Probably a wood wall wouldn't work unless there's a nice space between it so you can get plenty of air circulation. If you don't have a lot of space, gardening on the vertical like this, it's the deal. Give it a try. Hey, if you've constructed a vertical garden like this or are planning to, I'd love to hear about it, so let me know. Tell your friends about this and subscribe to eHow Home.